Hey, what's up guys? It's Isaac and today we're going to be digging into the topic of atheism. Hi Isaac, nice to meet you my dude. And today we're going to be talking about atheism. Well, that'd be a first for me. I never talk about that, especially every two weeks because I like the way it looks on my homepage. Look at it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Except there. I don't know how I messed that up, but it haunts my dreams. Why atheists actually don't exist. I know that's a very controversial... Um... Oh, I wouldn't say it's very controversial, Spurgaga, because much like that word, it doesn't make any goddamn sense. Atheists are a thing that real. There is a definition of the word and people who fit into that category. Now, you can decide that you don't like that definition and I guess make up a new one, but that wouldn't suddenly stop those people existing and using the definition they like. And, well, I can't think of any other way that what you're saying would make any sense. But hey, maybe you have some reason I haven't thought of yet. And I probably haven't thought of it because while my brain is very small, it still at least works. It's a statement to make, but we're going to get into it. But first, yes, we shall. And if it turns out that the reason you say that is anything other than you have a well thought out and logical rebuttal to a group of people who exist existing, I am going to have to make lots and lots and lots of fun of you for saying something that is in all likelihood completely ridiculous and more than a tiny bit completely wrong. OK, OK. I just want to give a huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon. Uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you for helping me do what I do in creating this content and be able to make more content. Wait, people pay you to say stupid shit? Good for you, man. And to be fair, people pay me to say stupid shit as well. But we all know the real reason is because of how handsome, famous and good at the sex I am. Who wouldn't want to give my fine ass some money? I mean, look at it. You've never seen a better donkey in your life. Don't lie pointing to God, pointing to the gospel message. And if you want to help me and my mission, uh, head on over to patreon.com slash daily underscore disciple. Hey, I point to God in the gospel. Maybe I should have the best part of 400 Christian patrons. Shit, although I guess the Crimsbian patrons aren't exactly likely to want to give me cash because after the pointing I always have this involuntary reaction of laughing and or pointing out why whatever it says is kind of dumb. Oh well, never mind. Link in description and that would be a huge blessing to me. Now, on to the video. Thank your non-existent god. I mean, maybe I would have a couple more of you crazy lot as patrons if I banged on about it all the time, but Christ, if I find that annoying in someone else's video, I sure as shit ain't gonna be doing it at the start of mine all the goddamn time. Anyway, yay, on to the topic. What was it again? Something about me not existing. You fucking wish, son. Okay, so first to begin our conversation, let's look at a little bit of a definition of atheism here. I pulled it up on Google. Hey, so you are going to start with an established definition. That's, you know, pretty good. Better than the old, atheism is the belief that God is real and everything they say about him is absolutely true. But I am just completely out of my f***ing mind and would really like to be tortured forever for some reason. I mean, frankly, if that definition were true, it's f***ing weird that any loving God would make someone to be like that. Kind of cruel when you think about it. So a disbelief or lack of belief in the existence of God or gods. Okay, how is that either not the correct definition or somehow invalid? Because that sounds pretty good to me. I don't believe in your or any other God, mostly because I find both the arguments and supposed evidence extremely uncompelling. The only way that could possibly be false is that I'm actually just lying about it. But that would be an even more ridiculous assertion than Space Forever Man and Real also is best friend. So part of why I want to talk about atheism today um, and talk about a little bit why atheists don't exist and I'll explain that in a bit. It's because I run a Christ Boy channel and they keep making these arguments that I have no way of refuting. So better to just turn around when they say something like God I'm not real and just go no you and then they'll evaporate into dust and I can go on believing whatever the hell I want because of how smart I am. Am I close? Um, is just that I've been seeing a lot of atheist centric channels rise up on YouTube and it's an interesting thing. So there's lots of atheism based channels and you think you can convince them to stop by telling them they aren't real. I mean, f I don't even think that you will stop when I say God am not real, but mostly because it's a funny thing to say. 
so kudos for the confidence, I guess. Although considering the size of your channel and the staggeringly small amount of views this one got, even if it wasn't a really, really dumb thing to say, I don't think it's gonna reach anybody, buddy. Because there are a lot of people who are very, very committed to letting other people know how much and why God doesn't exist. He doesn't exist and I'm gonna make a whole YouTube channel and career out of telling people he doesn't exist. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, I mean, being born into countries where there are things done in the name of gods you don't think exist. I can't imagine why anyone would feel the need to talk about them. Especially when they are often the minority in those countries. Hell, even as a citizen of planet Earth, having people in power who genuinely believe they are there because their imaginary friends said they should be, no, there's no f***ing reason why anyone might decide having their voices heard could be important in that regard. And of course, there is no way it could be something people do simply because it's a topic they find interesting and they could have fun with it. I'm sure that it's none of those. Nope. But, um, you know what, I wanted to talk a little bit about this, take the biblical perspective of what is atheism? Oh yeah, that's a really f***ing useful way to figure it out. Ask the thing that has a vested interest in saying the opposite idea to what your general purpose atheist is going to think is true. Big brain move right there. And just as a guess, I could be completely wrong, but what are the odds that it's going to be something along the lines of the fool in his heart doesn't think God does the big real? I know I could be wrong, but then again, I'm not the Bible, am I? Um, what are, who, like, what does this mean? What is this all about? Because I think we start at the Bible and then we'll move out from there and have a little discussion and conversation about it. What a hoo ra hoo ha I have no idea. But I don't think the Bible is going to give you any more info on that topic than it is on the people who think that the Bible is literally false, at least on its major and supernatural claims. I mean, to use the thing I think is nonsense to somehow prove that I actually don't is weird at best and outright freaking moronic at uh, most likely. So I pulled up Romans 1.18 and I just want to read this section because I think this talks specifically about atheism and this kind of whole, you know, worldview that they have. Oh goody! Bible verse reading! That's my favourite thing to do. Right after having my toenails pulled out, using a rusty protractor, and right before severing the tip of my nose with a blunt hand axe. Can't wait! Um, so I'll read here. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, who by their unrighteousness suppress the truth. Okay, so it's not actually Psalms, but it might as well be. I mean, I'm saying God doesn't exist not because I'm unconvinced, but because I'm a bad person, and I actually totally know it. Now, buddy, listen closely. F*** you. No, seriously. F*** you and your bullshit. How dare you say I don't believe in God because I'm a bad or unrighteous person, whatever that means. I don't believe in God for completely unrelated reasons to how much of a piece of shit I am. And how dare you sully my evil name by suggesting that what was simply a rational conclusion is in any way related to the thing I take great pride in, causing pain and suffering to all around me. For what can be known about God is plain to them because God has shown it to them. Has he now? Remember, the Bible is a book written by people. People who wanted those around them to believe the things it said were true. And to also think that people who disagreed with them were less than. If you were to write a book like that, you would definitely say that the people who don't think that what it says is true are actually just a bunch of liars who have literally the same information you think that you have. And it is think you have seen proof for God, like I have seen a glass of delicious whiskey that I haven't immediately consumed. For his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived. His invisible attributes have been clearly perceived. Now by invisible, well, that can't possibly mean just not visible to the human eye. It has to also mean not visible, smellable, tasteable, touchable to not just humans, but any machine they have been able to design and have no effect that can be inferred to have been caused by its presence alone. You know, basically anything it would take to do a science on it. 
And after all that, humans with their extremely faulty senses, yeah, no, they can actually detect it all the time. I don't think you know how words work if you think any of that holds up to scrutiny, mate. Ever since the creation of the world in the things that have been made, so they're without excuse. Wait, we see it in the things that have been made, but, uh, dude, you know that we know how things came to be, not been made, mind, without the need of some triomni lad needing to do, well, anything really. That's just a claim from someone who thinks that those things are evidence for God, because they at least, at the time, had no way of knowing or even reasonably figuring out how any of that shit actually happened. You, on the other hand, have nearly infinite resources in that regard, and still apparently think that, just look at the things, is anything even resembling a worthwhile argument for God. At least if you think this shit is convincing in any way. For although they knew God, they did not honor him as God or gave thanks to him, but they became futile in their thinking and their foolish hearts were darkened. See, basically the same thing as the one in Psalms, and also shows that the Bible has an issue with repeating itself. That or they have that really, really annoying notion of, if you say something enough times, it gets to be true. Which thinking about it would explain why so many theists seem to do that all the time. Hmm. Claiming to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for the images resembling mortal man and birds and am animals and creeping things. Uh, you know that's not talking about atheists at all, right? God damn it, Isaac, I thought you were going to be a big brain smart boy, but you're just as dumb as everyone else. That's clearly talking about whatever theology that might use various animals and the like as their various deities or symbols of worship. Thing about atheists, as a rule, is they don't tend to worship things. Also, about the claiming to be wise thing, you can say the same about literally anything. The things people believe to be true are almost always believed because they think that is the wisest thing to believe. That's like how it works. You would claim that believing in God am true, and I could say that the fool believes God does the big real, but atheismo has shown that not realness of God is evident in all things that don't do and exist. Doesn't make it any less asinine. There's a lot to unpack in that section of scripture. I mean, there kind of isn't. People who don't believe in God are bad and they are liars who deny the thing that I say is true and that's what makes them bad is practically boilerplate for any kind of religious text if you're wanting people to think that you are true because you say you are true. But this idea that we know God exists but we simply suppress that truth and unrighteousness. Yeah, it's really goddamn stupid because even if it somehow were true that you know God real because things, okay, great, which f***ing God? Because again, just because your book, even if it were the only one that said everyone knows me am the real truth, TM, somehow, even though I would be shocked if most, if not all of them said that, how even with the idea that everyone knows something created all the things, it definitely doesn't show in any way that it's your God which did it. All it would show, well, all it would show is that you feel like someone created everything, because again, humans are shit at sense data. So even with that feeling, that's not proof for God. I mean, many people feel entitled to the whiskey that they own. But anyone who knows the real truth understands that it actually and always has belonged to me. And this shouldn't be an area where we're like, wow, those people are really stupid, those atheists, man. They're just idiots. No, of course not. Oh, no, no, no. They are people who are denying the reality in front of their face on purpose in order to make sure they suffer for all eternity in hell because of how much they hate God, who only ever wanted the best for them. No. They are stupid idiots and they're evil bad people who will literally suffer forever if it means they get to do what they want for five minutes. We were all in that spot of suppressing the truth about God in our unrighteousness. We were rebelling against God until God changed our hearts. What the f*** are you talking about? So many Crimsby lads are born into families with other Christ guys where they literally never even think to question the idea of God existing. That's why so many of y'all are, you know, 
self-righteous about this obvious fact that you, well, never really thought about in a serious way. Don't get me wrong, that's true of a lot of people, but to say that everyone rejects God until they open their heart? What are you, counting babies or some shit like that? Because, I'll be honest, the babies are atheist argument is also super goddamn dumb, no matter who it's coming from. Come on, man. There'd only be atheist babies if there were theist babies. Stands to reason. So I don't want there to be any kind of like name calling or any hate towards atheists because Hey, you can name call without hate, you giant sack of idiot. Because I don't hate people who say stupid things, but I do make fun of them for it. So if I say something really dumb, feel free to call me something terrible. But make sure it's funny. Because if you don't, then I will be offended. Nothing worse than an unfunny roast. That shit just makes me sad. Like the popular one, Sir Suck. Ooh. Cutting an original. Good job. They're simply where we once were as Christians. Again, it's actually super weird that you say that. And, um, at least for most of us, we really, really aren't. We aren't denying something we can see because of the things. We have considered many, many, many arguments and so-called evidences and said, you know what? I don't believe that. I remain, or am now, unconvinced by the idea that you are selling. The fact that you think you in some way were in that position if you still actually believed in God means that you have no fucking idea what it is atheists think and feel. I've said it too many times now, but you need to actually talk to atheists, not just about them. Otherwise, you are going to continue sounding like a moron. And I don't, that doesn't mean to be like a prideful thing because it wasn't out of our own doing that we were saved. It's not like we're smarter than them. It's not like we're, you know, oh my goodness, I'm so much more educated, therefore I'm a Christian. All right, f this, I'm done. Because you just did the dumbest thing of all there. You put on a fake British accent as the smart guy voice. I'm British, most of the people I know are British, and we're just as Dumb as the rest of you idiots. Stop stereotyping us as smart. I'm sick of having to constantly lie to people. I mean, I still do it, and I'm pretty sure there are a non-zero amount of people who now think that cats are made from sand. Look, if you try to get answers from me, I'm going to say things that aren't true. I'm an atheist after all. Or am I? Wait, before you go, I have something super important to tell you. It's life or death. It will change everything forever. Nope. Wait, it's gone. Oh well, probably wasn't important. But while I have you, don't forget to comment, subscribe and notify. And if you want more of my smexy voice, check out Mrs. Six's channel Spoonstar Stories, where I narrate and voice all the videos. And she does the work. And if you want to support the channel, check out the merch store for cool t-shirts, or check out Patreon, memberships and PayPal to support directly. Finally, follow me on the medias of social to get completely pointless guff and to keep up on the latest releases. Oh, I just remembered what I was going to tell you. Whatever you do, don't touch them.